This here is Boom Studios' Go Go Power Rangers comic issue number 30. The story continues on the planet Kuja after Jason, Zack and Trini arrive and see Kia being surrounded by an angry mob. The mob believes that Kia is a witch after she accidentally destroyed their village. The rangers try to defuse the situation, but the mob just won't listen, insisting that Kia has been exposed to black magic. It doesn't help when Kia gets angry and plays the role of the monster when she smashes the ground, sending boulders crashing down around the villagers. So then, Kia was a hothead right from the start. Back on Earth, Kimberly, Tommy and Billy are at the Angel Grove Mall. Kimberly is acting a bit strange because she's still hung up on Jason, Zack and Trini, telling them that they went scuba diving. Kimberly doesn't remember getting invited by them, and she thinks they've been acting strange. When Kimberly asks for Billy's opinion, he says that they're just transitioning, just as people do in their lives. Without knowing the truth, the three of them kill time by going to watch a movie. On the moon, Zed is preparing his next move, and Squat offers to help. Zed tells him that all he has to do is survive. They need to ensure that the hodgepodge hedgehog is able to complete its mission. Seeing Squat take charge is a bit strange, but at least it gives him something to do in the comics. The putties and the hodgepodge hedgehog arrive at Promethea, and they try to force entry. Promethea's guards respond to the attack, but are easily defeated by hodgepodge hedgehog. The monster's armor is too strong. Grace figures out what the monster is after. If you've been following the comics from the start, you may know what it is. At the command center, Zordon and Alpha detect the attack on Promethea. With Jason, Zack and Trini off-world, Alpha is unable to locate them and has to contact just Billy, Kimberly and Tommy at the cinema instead. The three of them morph into action and arrive at Promethea with a plan. The security at Promethea will deal with the putties whilst the rangers take on Hodgepodge Hedgehog. They find it strange that Promethea has so much firepower and that Zed chose to attack Promethea. Returning to the planet Kuja, Jason and Zack smash the falling rocks to prevent them from hitting the villagers. Trini though just ensures that the villagers get away safely. Once they're gone, Trini approaches Kia. At first Kia tries to push Trini away, but Trini makes it clear that she's not there to fight. Kia wants answers, so Trini tells her that she's been in a similar situation before. One day, Trini was transported somewhere else and suddenly gained a lot of power, and with that came a lot of responsibility and nobody explained any of it to her. Kia understands the feeling and says she doesn't want to hurt anyone again. And so Kia joins the other rangers and C teleports them out. We know what happens to Kia. She turns bad and kills the emissary, destroys most of C and hurts Jason. She said she doesn't want to hurt anyone again, and I felt for her character a bit then. But then I remembered where we're at in the main comics, and the sympathy was gone. Anyway, C wonders why the Emissary chose humans for the mission, as C thinks humans are fundamentally flawed. The Emissary tells him that he sees perseverance in the three rangers, and he marvels at their faith. Back on Earth, Kimberly tells Prometheus Security to aim for the putty's weak spot, the Z, or Z. As the rangers begin to turn the tide on the battle, Lord Zed makes the hodgepodge hedgehog grow. The three rangers begin summoning their thunder zords, but Grace shows up with the mecha zord, thinking that the ranger zords will take too long. The mecha zord takes a hit from the monster, and then we see hodgepodge hedgehog getting blasted by the thunder zords. So it didn't take long for them to arrive at all. Anyway, hodgepodge hedgehog's next move is to spew out eggs onto Grace's Mechazord. Basically, smaller versions of the monster hatch from the eggs and begin burrowing into the Mechazord. Kimberly's Firebird Thunderzord gets punched by the monster after she flies too close, and Billy's Unicorn Thunderzord gets thrown onto its side. And now, back to Squat as he leads Goldar, Babu and some putties through Promethea. Goldar knocks out some of the guards inside, and then Squat kicks down a door. Again, this is so unlike Squat, but it's good to see that he's doing something useful in the story and not just clowning around for us to laugh at. So we find out what Grace was hiding, and it's the green Psycho Ranger's dagger from the 1969 mission, which brings us to the end for now. It's been a while since we've seen the dagger, and to be honest, 
I thought the writers had forgotten about it. It was good to see how Kia first met the Rangers in this issue, and as I said earlier, I did feel for her character. She turns evil in the end, and it's not actually that surprising after seeing this, because Kia was quite a hothead to begin with. I'm wondering which direction the comics will go now. Go Go Power Rangers as a series is ending soon, but Psycho Green's dagger is coming into play again, so I just don't know what to expect in the future issues.